What's up, Beer Land and Brew Crew? It's Chris. And Jason. Coming back to you again uh, with another review out here in San Diego, where some of the tournament's being held, actually. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so that being said, we've actually got a treat for you today uh, that uh, Jason found. And it threw me off at first when I saw it when he handed it to me. But it's actually a popular company out here. You want to introduce this one? I sure do. I didn't even know the company. I just saw it, and it was kind of interesting. It's Coco Chaos IPA. It's a coconut IPA. Uh, 6.5 ABV. Uh, and as Thad, uh, we kind of thought of you because it is uh, the first part of four of an art series. Yeah, you can you do can better work than that, but that's still yeah. pretty cool. So you can see the art that's on the can as well. I've but seen Thad's artwork. It's impressive. I won't lie. I've seen a couple of things of his on there, too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is Coronado Brewing, uh, is who, who's the brewer. So. Which is out of Coronado Island here in San Diego, and that's what threw me off is because typically they have their logo um, d directly somewhere in the front of the cans and the bottles, and there is a very small, tiny stamp <laughs> here on the back, bigger, like about as big as my fingernail. But um, yeah, so ABV 6.5, a little low. Yeah. Um, and, and and when I say low, I, I, mean. I, I just mean, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we've done beers at 14s, but um, but it sounds really good. I'm a coconut fan. I hope uh, what they say is in here is in here. Yeah, uh, we've, we've had a, another Coronado Brewing uh, beer, maybe one or two. I can remember one that, that we didn't like, so uh, I'm hoping they come yeah. back and totally represent with this, especially because it's so cool. It's coconut IPA. Uh, it's a little different, so... Um, We'll see. Yeah. Uh, well, let's give it a pour and see what we have. We got two, so we Thank pour you. our own tonight. Thank you. We gotta turn the tab. Oh. Nice color. It is a nice color. So I'll be using, uh, well, for pour, while he's pouring, I went down to the restaurant down the road here uh, the other day, and they give me a, a Bell's coaster. So, uh, Christian and Thad, I thought y'all would think that's pretty cool. So, I have my coasters up behind me, so that will go up there too. So, so what do you? I didn't get any smell. Is, I, I got a IPA smell coming that's out of it. That's exactly what I'm getting too. But I like I like the uh, the haze, the the crisp golden color. Here, let me get a close up for you guys here. I mean, that is. That light, is a light yellowish. That is a, a grand looking yellow. I like that. Ooh, I kind of got a little sweet, a little sweet when you put your nose down to it, but you definitely already get the um, you already get the citrus uh, pine. There's a little pine in there too uh, from your normal IPA. Mm -hmm. But when you get your nose down there to it, you do get a little sweet in there. I get a, a citrus smell as well. Uh, as far as the pine doesn't seem as dominant, uh, it's not as normal. It's it's no, it's a tick in there, but you definitely get the citrus from the IPA. Yes, and the the head is it's it's a it's white. a white, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, coconut like wow. in an IPA. For some reason, I always think about a coconut beer being some kind of like cream color. I don't know, it's just because it's coconut, I guess. But when when I see the yellow and the citrus, it always throws me off. Mm. Or I think of citrus and it throws me off. But anyways, let's get into this one because I am excited. Today is Friday. It is Friday. It is Friday, right? And it must be, that must mean, well, it could be 5 o'clock somewhere. 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 It could be. The 5 o'clock where you're at? No. <laughs> Cheers. I'm going to give another. I am too. Wow, I, I don't either. I not, not a hint. Zero <laughs> coconut. Um, I got an IPA. Um, I got IPA. I got no coconut. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting nothing. I'm getting an IPA. I'm getting a yeah. a smooth IPA, but I don't get any coconut. The uh, the hops hit you up mm -hmm. front, very noticeable. 
Don't mind him. He's watching the March Madness. Oh, yeah, because number one, Virginia is down by uh, 13 right now because UMBC has just hit three three-pointers in a row. Trust me, I'm watching. Anyways. Uh, yeah, the hops hit you up front. Like he said, it's it's not like overpowering, <clears throat> but I mean, that's the first thing you get. And then you get like the citrus notes uh, throughout. Uh, it's very disappointing we're not getting uh, any, any coconut, not even a, a little bit. Uh, as far as IPAs are concerned, it tastes good. It I tastes agree. like a, a, an IPA that I would consider having more than one of. Yeah. But this whole thing, this Coco Chaos, I mean, first and foremost, uh, the word chaos would indicate a lot to me. Yeah, like I, a craziness, a mouth. Exactly. Blah, Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So Jason's, <laughs> Jason's absolutely right. Not only is there no chaos, no coconut chaos, uh, there's no cocoa. There's no. not even a smidge. No. And it looks like they... I, you can't call this a coconut India Paya Ale. Pale Ale. No. Because there's, there's no, coconut. no coconut. I mean, yeah. they, they're they more excited to sell this beer based on the artwork. And no offense, the artwork's... It's okay, but... Yeah. Seems so, bad. <clears throat> it's like a bunch of peacock feathers on there. I mean... Everything Jason said based on the taste, where it's at in your mouth and all that, I agree 100%. Uh, as far as the, the beer, it, it tastes good. If you are going to get an IPA, then uh, Chaos <laughs> IPA would be the yeah. beer you want. Yeah. There's no, I, I don't taste any coconut. Basically, don't get your hopes up for nope. the coconut. Exactly. Uh, that being said, I mean... Okay, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of give two scores here and I'll explain myself. The first score, I'm going to give it just on, based on an IPA. If this just said Chaos IPA, I would probably give this at least a 7.5. It's a very good flavored beer. It tastes good. <clears throat> now, because I be, uh, believe that I was deceived and lied to, and I'm really not a fan of that. A one! Um, <laughs> you nailed it, but I'm still going to drink it. I'm still drinking it. Um, you know, I, I, I'll be honest. I That... that that kicks you right, right where it counts, and I'm I'm gonna have to go five four on it. I'm I'm I don't like that because what that tells me is the next time I buy their beer and I'm thinking coconut or mango or rhubarb or whatever it is, and I don't get it. Why am I gonna spend my money on that beer when I'm expecting something else? Exactly. That's for you, Coronado Brewing Company. Just so you know, you didn't get the coconut in here, so. No. So yeah, five four. Which guy? I'm. I, I'm <laughs> I can pretty much patent what he said there. Um, uh, as far as an IPA, it's great. I might buy it again, just the simple fact of the IPA. Yeah. Uh, I won't buy it again with hopes that it has coconut in it. So uh, I'm just going to give my score on the IPA, uh, and I'm going to go 7-8. 7-8. That's, well, I mean, yeah, right along with what yeah. I said, if it was just based on solely yeah. IPA. Um. So yeah, I mean, if you guys like IPAs, it's Coronado Brewing Company. It's called Coco Chaos, and it says coconut IPA. There's no coconut in it, so yeah. at least it's deceiving and yeah. it's frustrating. And that's um, what these reviews are good for. You watch them, uh, <clears throat> but don't just watch. Do your own videos, so that own. way everybody else can see the beers in your area. So if Chris and I ever go to um, Tennessee, we yeah. know, hey. Yeah. They have good beers there. They said this beer or whatever. Same thing here. If you come to California, Coronado Island is a very populated tourist area. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, nice you know, if you see this, hey, this is a good, refreshing uh, IPA. Not in the coconut, though. So Well, let me even tell you off the side of the can. And a huge addition of toasted coconut. Lies. They left it out in these two cans. Oh, lies. I mean... I didn't go that far, but yeah. <laughs> that being said, hey, you know, Jason and I try to keep it live before you. If you like what we did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, share us. MBR, and, baby. Yeah, MBR, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that. And I want to hear, I, not only do I want to hear and see your reviews, um, I want to hear what you got going on for the tournament. Right now, uh, Virginia, number one Virginia, is losing by 16 to a 16-ranked team. Nope. Little tidbit, little fact for you in um, NCAA tournament history. No number 16 ranked team has ever beaten a number one ranked team. I'm not saying it's going to happen tonight, but if you're not watching this game, turn it on and watch this game. 
what it's uh, all about. <clears throat> March Madness, baby. Who did you pick? Team is right behind you, buddy. <laughs> um, go Big Blue. <laughs> I picked Woo! them to lose in the first uh, round. Big Blue. Big Blue. <laughs> Big Blue. Yeah. Um, I've actually got Virginia winning my main bracket, but I, I've done a couple different brackets, anywhere from, I think I got Xavier winning one. I've actually got Purdue winning one. Um, but yeah, Virginia, I think, was the highest ranked team in the nation, and uh, they're not playing like it right now. Murray State played today. They actually are 30 <clears throat> minutes from where I live in Kentucky. Uh, they actually played here in San Diego. Uh, I was kind of pulling for them, but they didn't show up today, so... Bucknell had a good run at Michigan State, lost by four, but at one point with two minutes left, they were down by about 16, came out and just started jamming three-pointers. We could do Sports and Center, dude. We this should. This is like a Sports Center set. I'm now. telling you. I've been awesome. trying to keep up with all the games. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Purdue knocked it out. Um, no. There was an upset. Who was it? You remember? It was Wichita State, number four. Buffalo? Buffalo upset somebody. Yes. And then Wichita State lost to Wichita it. State lost. And I think a 13-ranked team. I can't remember who it was. Uh, Marshall, we are Marshall. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we won't uh, take up any more of your time. Write in the comments who you're going for. Who you're rooting for down there. Likes. Uh, likes, everything. We want to see it. We want to hear it. This is our first review. We might do two. Coming at you, double. Jump shot. Pow, pow. Yes. That was my screen, bro. What, huh? Cheers, Cheers. NBR Brew Crew. <laughs>